like I like acting like I have a lot of money. <laughs> that time I don't even have nothing. I literally just woke up and um, and I decided to undo my hair. Good morning. Hi. It's good to see you. You are welcome here. My name is Ntav Singh and I really do hope that you will enjoy what you see today and consider subscribing because you are not losing anything. Literally, you just click and you click the notification bell so that whenever I post, you, you are the first one to get notified. And that's all. That's literally all. Okay my storage is full oh my god and i wanted to sit down and undo my hair with you guys <sighs> anyway hopefully this won't be long um okay so yesterday i woke up i woke up around five and then i was like i'm still tired let me go back to bed i went back to bed and i woke up around like half past seven there and um I organized my clothes I just took them all out of the bag because you guys know I don't have a, a wardrobe yet so I put all my clothes in this big bag of mine and then I have like I, I came back with another one from home like a smaller one um, so I just organized all my clothes I decluttered everything that I'm no longer wearing or does no longer fit and anyway guys i should be undoing my hair i should be undoing my hair yeah so i woke up and then i did that i organized my clothes i decluttered everything that's no longer fitting or no longer goes with my style and then i spring cleaned my place i did the dishes and then i did laundry i think i finished around Half, half past one there if not two that 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 was when i was like done with everything and i was like so tired am i taking a call there it's like no not yet let me think about it what happened i don't know Tiki -tiki, i wake up it's like it's half past seven oh no i'm lying before then I, I stayed like a little bit on my bed before like i was on my phone and then the, it started raining like the rain came down so i had to take down my laundry even though it was not like dry yet I took it down and then i just folded it and i put it in a basket and then laid on my bed gone took a very very long nap like when i woke up it was half past seven Okay, I have an alarm for half past seven because um, I have to do my yoga at, like half past seven. So I set an alarm for that. I wake up at half past seven, the electricity, like the light is on. Uh, like, you, do you know that confusion? Do you know that confusion when you, like, you take a long nap during the day and you wake up and you think it's the next day? Like I literally went through that. And it was so frustrating because I'm just like, I'm too old for this. <laughs> I'm too old for this. Because I think the last time it happened, I was like in high school or something. Yeah, so that's literally how my day went yesterday. And then today I wake up. Okay, I cut my hair in the morning. Like before I decluttered my, my clothes, I cut my hair like short because... I had planned that after everything I'm gonna undo my hair so this is why I'm I'm doing it now because I have to like wash it and then do cornrows today and now it's like half past six now so I don't know what time I'm gonna be so yeah um, I just wanted us to go through 2023 like reflect a little bit on 2023 how has it been for you how how was 2023 for you what what did you achieve what were your goals did you uh tick off 
your 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 goals on the vision board like what was going on because for me literally 2023 went by so fast that's that's the number one thing like 2023 went by so fast one moment i'm in teflop making quarters the next moment i'm in uh, pretoria i mean like I'm, I'm working like i'm meeting new people i'm doing new things i'm dating like it's just it's just been a lot like it's been a lot of ups and a lot of downs and <laughs> like this life just just doesn't have balance man this life just doesn't have balance so yeah i think now this month january marks six months if not f oh, five five months i think five six months doesn't matter of me like being this side and oh boy <laughs> What a roller coaster! What a roller coaster! Um, a lot happened. There was a lot of new experiences, meeting a lot of new people, learning new languages, like learning new things about myself, things I didn't even know I have, like. Yeah, there's just been a lot of news and I'm just grateful to be quite honest with you because it has brought a lot of growth um, and that was just my intention for this year, for the last year. I just wanted growth in every aspect of my life and you don't know how happy I am when I look at my vision board and I'm ticking out a few things and I'm just like God what are you doing you know <laughs> as much as I'm so mad remember I told you my story just <laughs> it cut me and I spoke for a long time without realizing <laughs> I'm so mad I'm so mad but yeah um, I think it cut me at that point when I was saying that I'm grateful that um, 2023 has brought a lot of growth in my life and um, I couldn't be more happier and then but then with that another thing that I learned like in 2023 is that when God like with every blessings there comes a responsibility like you have to be responsible for every little blessing that you have because god is just like if i can't trust you if you can't be responsible with this small thing how are you gonna be responsible with like bigger things you know and ah, it's just it's not the easiest thing to go through or to experience but yeah you have to be intentional and be like present enough in your life in every moment to realize that every blessing comes with um, a responsibility yeah and what um what did i learn most like physically spiritually and emotionally um, what I learned the most spiritually last year is that God, God is very, our God is very jealous or my God is very jealous. Like he, 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 he's, he doesn't, he doesn't want to stay where like he doesn't get my full attention. Like I realized that when I don't give god enough of my attention i don't see enough of his mercy and not seeing enough of his mercy just makes me so anxious like just makes me feel like i'm unprotected like i'm not i don't know <laughs> i don't know how to put it but yeah so that's, that's just what I learned and I also learned that 
spirituality needs you to be intentional like just as much as you have to be intentional with everything in life but i think like when it comes to your spirituality you have to be more intentional with everything you do like putting up time to pray setting an alarm if that's what needs to be done putting reminders for you to pray and just be intentional man go all out make the time to be with god to spend time with god and yeah that's just what i learned and that's just what i want to do more of in 2024 yeah so um physically i think physically with my physical body with my physical body i learned that my gut health is very 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 vital like it is so important to make sure that my gut health is on par because um also another thing i learned is that there's a very huge connection between your brain and your gut health like if you're not good eating good if your gut health is not like on track it affects your function your brain function it affects your energy levels it affects like your stress levels and all that and another thing is that i learned that stress can be so detrimental detrimental to your your physical body like when you are stressed your body just can't function well because it lowers your energy yeah and with that i learned that and another thing is that your body talks to you man okay my body <laughs> at least like it communicates with me if i'm if i'm doing something wrong or if i'm consuming something i'm not supposed to for example sugar i know sugar doesn't love me sugar doesn't love my body like if i eat sugary stuff like i can feel I can feel it like every time it's not even a matter of today it feels uh -uh, every all the time so yeah, i've also learned to listen to my body more and yeah this year i plan with that i plan to eat it more clean like eat more foods and veggies like another thing i realized about myself is that i'm not a picky eater like i can eat your broccoli like things that people like you cucumbers like things that people don't like eating just people that just that things that people are just like foods or veggies that people are just like mm, i can't eat that raw mm, i can't eat that without uh, a salad dressing oh i love that i love i appreciate like feeling the texture the taste like it's it's just an experience for me i like that i also realize that when i'm eating healthy i'm more present when i eat like i listen to my chewing i like i'm more present like i can i analyze the taste i like i and like i just it feels good and i just feel like like monomugija kapunugija vitamin c monomugija like i connect more with the food i don't know if that makes sense i think this is crooked to be honest yeah like i, I connect more with the food but then when I'm eating unhealthy things or like fast food, it's just and I'm done, you know, like as long as I'm full, empty calories, hate that. <laughs> so yeah, another uh, thing I learned um, spiritually or emotionally uh, is that I'm much stronger than I think and I don't I don't know if I I don't want to accept that or I don't know but um, I always like downgrade my emotional strength I always like I'm, I'm always weak man I'm always weak but I'm not weak I know I'm not weak. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Um 
another thing man i've been dating around i've been seeing people and it's just been a, a wild experience one thing i can tell you is that the dating streets are not cute at all at all and i don't know if i showed you guys what i'm using i'm using this tweezer i'm using this tweezer but maybe it's tweezer band Is it Yubis? I don't know if Yubis is the name of the brand. Yeah, I'm using this to the trend to my hair. It's kind of sharp, but it's not that sharp. But in a long water, so I don't know. Yeah. So you know, I, 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 I think I, I underestimated the amount of work I have to do. <laughs> The theme for the year, for this year, for 2024, is intentionality. Like, I plan to be more intentional with everything that I do. Like, especially with uh, this new job that I got. Like, you have to be intentional. You have to set goals. You have to be smart with your goals as well. Like... You just have to always be present because you're always chasing targets. You always have to be like, it's a very competitive world. And I just in a million years never thought that I'll be in this industry. <laughs> it's just so flipping crazy, but it is what it is. I ha guess I have to learn something from this new chapter of my life. And if it means having to go through that. And I think I think God, that's why I'm telling you that God is so intentional and God is so timely. Because I think in this present moment in my life, like in this age in my life, I need this job in order for me to like get my life you know, in order like in simple terms like i need the experience i need that experience for me to grow into the woman that i want to be if i may put it that way like i think i'm gonna learn a lot of skills from this job and i just can't wait i just cannot wait um i'm at that point like i can see my like i see myself after this job like i can visualize myself after this job what i'm like what i learned how much i've grown and all that good jazz and not forgetting the stress and the um anxiety that comes with this job and another thing okay another thing about my emotions that I, I have learned is that um i need i need to get out of my head i'm always in my head so much that i'm always anxious about everything um when i tell you i'm the most anxious person i know and sometimes it's so unnecessary. That's why I'm just like, I'm also praying to God that he gives me the wisdom and the strength to like deal with myself, like to deal with my emotional side of uh, things, you know. Yeah. There's that. Yo, I've been speaking for way too long. My mouth is so dry. Um, I don't know. I plan to post this video before I post um, a vlog. I have a vlog that I'm, I edited. It's a December vlog. It's literally a vlog from November, to be quite honest with you. It's from training, from the induction, uh, that two weeks, even though I didn't vlog every day, but a, a recap of how the induction went and first few weeks of me like actually working a long walk to freedom to be quite honest with you i love you and i hope to see you in the next video as a subscribed viewer not just a viewer but a subscribed viewer because 
when you are subscribed, man, you just, you know, you're part of the family. It feels good. It feels good. <laughs> so don't deny yourself that. Please subscribe. It's free. And put on your notification bell so that you don't miss out um, every time I post a video. Like even tomorrow when I'm going to post a video, you know, you're going to be the first one to get notified. <laughs> And also don't forget to comment like if even if you don't know what you say or even if you are that viewer that never comments you're the silent um, subscriber just just put in a heart man just comment with your favorite emoji or just put a white flower or your most used emoji it just anything man just to show that you were here Mark the register, mark the register, guys. Mark the register. <laughs> I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. And I hope that you'll be subscribed by then. Please be prepared for me to bother you <laughs> with the subscribe thing. Because, guys, we need to get to a thousand. We need to get to a thousand. And the pace is not pacing. The pace is not pacing. <laughs> so, and, um, I'm also going to do more from my side, like I'm also going to put in more effort so that that goal is reached because I also want to do like short form content. I want to post shorts. I just don't know what because I'm just also I was thinking I was like, what can I post about? Um, like on my TikTok because I also get on tick. I was also want to get on TikTok more TikTok instagram reels and shorts i want to do more of that like like this year but then i was i was just like why am i overthinking it and another thing i saw um this reel yesterday you know when <laughs> you see something that just speaks to you in that moment and it just makes so much sense and you're just like oh my god i needed to see this yeah i saw this reel it's it was saying like don't overthink your content if you don't know what to post just take silly little videos um and combine them that you take and i like taking videos already and if you go through my gallery you'll find a lot of videos that a lot of content to be quite honest and it's just sitting there not posted because I overthink about everything. I'll be like, no, it's not good quality enough. Yada, yada, yada. I just like overthink everything and then I just end up not posting it. And I end up not having anything to post because I never have time to like sit and like curate content, if that makes sense. So yeah, I hope you guys will like follow me on tiktok i'll put my handles down also on instagram and facebook as well um and, and on pinterest as well it cut me i'm so sorry on pinterest as well i do have like content there i love pinterest <laughs> i love going there and seeing like inspos and also like creating inspos for other people so if you are also a pinterest baby don't be afraid to check me out yeah anyway i'll see you guys in my next video don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like don't forget to leave a cute comment um and i'll see you next time Bye. <laughs>